I'm going to show you how to make the best yeasted waffles you've ever tasted. I use the recipe from America's Test Kitchen. You need one and three quarter cups milk. It could be any kind of milk. I'm using one cup of skim and three quarter cups of whole milk, two eggs, a stick of butter, a teaspoon of salt, two cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of yeast, and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm making a quick blueberry sauce to go with the yeasted waffles tomorrow. My wife doesn't like syrup, but she likes this. So we have nine ounces of blueberries, about a quarter cup of sugar, you can add a little more if you like, and a cornstarch slurry, which is about two teaspoons of cornstarch with a little bit of water. I'm going to add half of it right now. And cornstarch has to come to a boil or else it won't thicken up. I'll mix that up. You can mash some of them if you want. We like them a little bit whole. Mash a few. And then when that comes to a boil, it will thicken up and make a nice little fruit sauce for the waffles. Oh, also add a little bit, a squirt of lemon juice to counterbalance the sweetness. And bottled lemon juice is fine. The blueberry sauce came to a boil. I transferred it to a container and it will continue to thicken overnight. Now that we have the dry ingredients here for the waffles, we're going to add the milk and the butter. I had to cool it down because it was way too hot. And you don't want it that hot or else it will kill the yeast. So I had it in the fridge for a few minutes. So you mix that all up. Get that mixed up. A few streaks of flour is fine. And then you add two beaten eggs, and I used vanilla bean paste instead of vanilla. Mix that up in. And then once that's combined, you put it in the cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. And we will be back tomorrow to cook the waffles. It's 7.05 in the morning. I just took out the waffle batter. It's nice and bubbly. So we're going to gently stir it and then we're going to make the waffle. So I lightly oiled the waffle maker. I have this Oster flip maker. It was 20 bucks on a Black Friday sale. So stir that. So this is about how much I add to the waffle maker. Turn the maker and then flip it over. And when it's ready, the light will come on. And there you go. There's your beautiful yeasted waffle. I need to get a fork, which I should have had ready. Beautiful yeasted waffle ready to top with some blueberry sauce and some real maple syrup.